Every day, Castro Valley Elementary, Middle, and High Schools practice the four R's, reduce, reuse, recycle, and rot. My name is Bob Wiseman. I am a 1958 graduate of Castro Valley High. I was part of the original group that went to Arroyo High since Hayward High was overpopulated. My brother and sister before me went to Hayward. When it was my turn to enter high school, we ended up going to Arroyo in 1954 and stayed there for two years with the students from San Lorenzo. By 1956, in the fall, Castro Valley High was built, so we ended up returning to Castro Valley and attending high school there. So I had two years in the new high school. I was the first graduating class in 1958. At Castro Valley, when we started, it was fairly desolate, just having been built. So there hadn't been a lot of vegetation and planting. The uh, football field was, uh, was fairly new, and uh, at least there was green grass on the field. The track was pretty rough. It was uh, a cinder track. I was a pole vaulter, and there was no pole vault pit, so I had to manufacture my own. Uh, it stayed that way both years that I was there. We, we had to do a lot of the grunt work that we rely on uh, groundskeepers to do today. Probably somewhere between 250 and 300 in the class of 58. My name is Kathy Lavelle Peck and um, I graduated in 1963 and this is my 50th reunion year, by the way, so that's going to be fun. I, um, I remember the high school as being a lot smaller, of course. The annex, which is now the student union, wasn't there. Um, and the Performing Arts Center, and they've built a whole wing with two stories, and they use that for science and math, I believe. And they've added um, portables out in the back. So it's grown quite a bit. In fact, it's probably doubled in size since I was there. I think I was one year before they added the Canyon School. And of course they had to get a new mascot because they didn't want Canyon students to feel left out. So um, it was brought up and they thought about cougars and tigers and everything else. And they finally decided on Trojans, which was similar to Spartans, but different and uh, that was voted in and then Canyon kids started coming there and uh, Canyon went back to being a junior high at that point. About the mascot, yes, we were the Spartans and uh, we took great care to select the name Spartans and uh, we selected colors green and white and it uh, came as a shock later when Canyon, which didn't exist at the time uh, we were in school, when Canyon High and Castro Valley High merged and they changed the colors from green or green and white to green and yellow or gold and from the Spartans to the Trojans. Um, personally, I didn't like it. I thought Spartans was a more active <laughs> mascot. Um, and we liked it because it was persevering and sticking it out through the hard times, whereas Trojan was like sneaking in. <laughs> I would say that uh, when we grew up it was an age of innocence. We had a marvelous experience at Castro Valley. I say we, most of us. I'm sure there's some that didn't. But for the most part, we had a wonderful experience. We felt protected, sheltered. Um, we were encouraged to expand ourselves, to try new things. I certainly enjoyed athletics while we were there, and I enjoyed the music program immensely. In those days, everybody had a part-time job, worked after school. We all had cars, and we showed them off in the parking lots all the time. Uh, we had just great experiences. Couldn't have been a better time to grow up.
In partnership with CV Sand, Costa Valley Schools reduced garbage sent to the landfill by 32% in 2012. Way to go.